focus at this hour, police officers in Moscow launched a series of raids on apartments and offices linked to jail Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny and his family and associates. Alexei Navalny's brother Oleg has also been taken into custody as of now. Locations searched included Navalny's apartment where his brother Oleg was arrested and a rented apartment where Navalny's wife Yulia had been living. Yulia Navalnaya's lawyer told journalists that the police did not allow her to attend the raids, which she said violated Navalnaya's rights of defense. We see that today is the day when massive raids are conducted by employees of the Fund for Fighting Corruption and a clear and clear relationship to the right of defense. Я как адвокат считаю, что в данный момент права Юлии нарушаются, так же как и права других, кому не пускают адвокат. Other locations raided by the police included the offices of Navalny's anti-corruption foundation and the studio which produces his videos and online broadcasts. The police also searched the apartment of head of the Alliance of Doctors Union, that is Anastasia Vasileva. The Russian police have not yet commented on these searches. However, Navalny's team has claimed that Putin's crazy fear is behind these raids. Yulia Navalnaya's lawyer also claimed that the raids were connected to the alleged violations of epidemiological regulations from last week's mass protests in Moscow. В настоящий момент еще проходит ряд следственных действий в виде обыска по адресам людей, допрошенных свидетелями по уголовному делу по статье 236. В настоящий момент неизвестно о том, что у Кира Ярмаш происходит обыск. Адвоката, кстати говоря, также не допускают. Происходит обыск во второй квартире, то есть по адресу регистрации Алексея Навального. The searches came ahead of planned protests by Navalny's supporters this weekend. Demonstrations calling for his release took place in more than 100 cities across Russia last Saturday, with nearly 4,000 people reported arrested during these protests. Now for more on this story, our correspondent Galina Polanskaya joins us live from Moscow with the latest. Galina, welcome to Beyond World is One. Now tell us, what can you tell us? We know that masked men and the police searched uh, Navalny's premises and other locations as well in Moscow without offering any explanation or justification. Uh, no lawyer was present when these raids were being conducted. And the reason that's being cited is Putin's crazy fear. So tell us more about the same. Well, uh, actually, yesterday, uh, many apartments of close Navalny's allies were searched, including, including the apartment which belongs to Alexei Navalny and another apartment where his wife, Yulia, lives. And we saw on Twitter that she did not want to open the door uh, before her lawyer comes, but the door was kicked out. And uh, also the apartments uh, of uh, his press secretary, Navalny's press secretary, and his doctor were searched. And we know that one of closest Navalny's allies, Lyubov Sobol, was detained as well as his brother. And uh, Lyubov Sobol informed uh, her, um, her uh, colleagues uh, that uh, she was questioned about uh, many people who supported Alexei Navalny on social media and supported the protest which took place last uh, Saturday. And those people are writers, famous um, actors and uh, singers. And uh, she uh, posted on Twitter that those those searches, and I quote, uh, were repressions to frighten Navalny's supporters mm -hmm. and all the Russians. And uh, Navalny's team urges for another protest this Sunday and says that people in more than 50 cities are ready to uh, take onto the streets. Right. Now, Galina, what can you tell us about Alexei Navalny's brother Oleg, who we hear has also been detained and is currently in custody? Is he being offered any help? Is he getting access to a lawyer? Well, actually, uh, Alec is in custody. He refused to answer any questions mm -hmm. citing the 51st article of Russia's, uh, of Russia's constitution. And we do not know much details about what is happening right now with him. But some of the lawyers uh, posted also some protocols which say that he could be also a participant of this criminal case, uh, which was opened against right. all of those who organized, according to the authorities, those protests. Uh, um, and violated the uh, epidemiological sanitary mm -hmm. rules during the pandemic. Right. Now, the U.S., uh, Galina, has put out a very strong statement in support of Navalny and has said that he needs to be released because he is the voice of many Russians. So will the Russian President Vladimir Putin cave in and respond to this? 
Well, uh, actually, uh, last uh, so uh, Saturday there were uh, uh, many Russians and more than 120 cities that took to the streets. It is very hard to um, estimate the scale of this protest, but what we know is uh, that uh, uh, there were 40 percent of those who have never took to the streets uh, and they went out and uh, they wanted uh, to uh, support Alexei Navalny, who is in prison, but also to say no to the corruption and to the regime. That's what I heard when I was in the protest from mm -hmm. some of those uh, in Moscow here. Navalny's team says that there were uh, around 40,000 people on Moscow streets, but the authorities say that uh, there were only 4,000, and the Kremlin spokesperson said that this protest was quite a small one. So it is not clear what to attend this Sunday, especially after those detentions and uh, searches, and how many people are ready to take to the streets, knowing that more than 3,000 people were detained, and of course people understand that they could be detained, taking part in those illegal, as the authorities say, uh, actions.